Now the question says here, the clock strikes at an interval of one second, is between two gongs, the time is one second. So when I say striking one o'clock at one o'clock, the number of intervals is going to be zero. At two, the number of intervals one. As we know, at three o'clock, at four o'clock, if there are four gongs, intervals are going to be three. So at three o'clock, there are two intervals. So up to twelve o'clock. 11 intervals. So if we sum up 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 11, summation is n into n plus 1 by 2. So that is 66 intervals. So simply when I say the clock strikes with an interval of 1 second, between the two gongs the time difference is 1 second. When I say striking 1 o'clock, there is going to be 0 interval. 2 o'clock, between 2 gongs, there is just going to be 1 interval. At 3 o'clock, there are going to be 2 intervals. So for 12 o'clock, 11 intervals. Now, so summation of this 1 plus 2 plus 3, 11 intervals. Total we get here, 11 into 12 upon 2. 66 intervals for AM and the same 66 for PM. So total intervals are going to be 132. Now the question given says here, the time difference between the two intervals is 1 second. We got 66 intervals for AM. We got same 66 intervals for PM. Total 132 intervals. Each interval is of 1 second. So total 132 seconds, that's the time needed by the clock to strike the whole day that is making all the gongs throughout the day.